that's better. So anyways, that, I get a lot of questions on that branding iron. Uh, Tom from Axe actually sent me that, and he'd gotten it from a company called Gearheart Engineering, and I'll put the, a link for that in the description below. And it's down south of Georgia, I believe. And it, it was not round. I modified it so that I could fit it inside the mortises. It was square and it didn't fit. So anyways, what I've got going on here is uh, a, a, a collab, I guess, if you want to call it that. So anyways, you got, um, I actually got to get this done and get it in, shipped out, because it's got to be in Texas by Monday. And it's Wednesday. So <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ship it. <clears throat> I'm going to ship it tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to do this one. This is actually for JP Woodwork. And then... So at the end of this, when, when this collab is done, whenever that may be, whenever he gets the videos, because he's on the holiday, as they call it, and he's going to be here in the States. So, but I'm going to get this shipped so that he can turn this here in the States and it doesn't kill my pocketbook to ship this over the puddle. So we'll get this done for JP and we'll send it off to him. I'm actually going to send it uh, to Amarillo, <laughs> down to Jake. I, I don't know, I think they got some kind of turnoff going down there, but I'm going to do another one. Now this is just cedar, and, and I've actually heated it up and found some buckets that they fit in. This is just an ice cream bucket, a one gallon ice cream bucket, and this is just a bucket I bought at one of the local farm things. So I'm going to do the same thing as him. Uh, I'm not sure what color to do, do this for <clears throat> JP, so I don't know, purple or red. I know his thing's red, so maybe I'll do it in red and do that one in purple. Jake's thing was green. We did Jake in green and then we did a blue for him. So maybe I'll do this one in, in red. A kind of a, a red. A translucent maybe. A little bit. We'll see. Uh, so let me get that all mixed up. We'll get this in the pressure pot and then we'll get the mixing of that one. Okay, so the red aluminite dye and the Pearl X Macro Pearl. Uh, I was hoping to keep this a little translucent. I hope so anyways. Uh-oh, uh I'm about to spill it all over the place, you see that? So anyway, so a little bit of this stuff here. It's more of a pink, but it's supposed to be red. Uh, all right, well, anyway, so I wanted this in there. Uh, doing what I wanted I thought it was gonna do a whole lot more soaking up in there and it stayed still might but all right so let's put that on there somehow on there and I got these guys right here hold that down <laughs> uh oh I think my thing is leaking it's leaking. Oh, what kind of crap is that? Ha ha ha, my bucket's leaking. Can make it fit in there? We're going with that one. Oh, it's too big. Huh. It'll fit though. It'll fit. I'll have to mix up some more. Great. Alright, so you gotta... You gotta go in there. How did you get a hole in you? All right, so JP's project is, actually it's already in Texas, so I sent it down to Jake. Uh, by the time this gets up, JP had already been here to the States to Jake's, and I believe they're hanging out with Carl and Robin. 
and he should be back home by then, unless he edits it here. I don't know what he plans to do. So anyways, Jake has it. I know that is on its way, so I need to get this going, because, uh, you know, I'm sure Thanksgiving is already passed by the time this goes up. So anyways, uh, a little bit of fast set resin, and like I said it before, I don't know why I'm bothering to do that. It's just a OCD thing, I guess, maybe. And I'm just going to put this in the bottom like this, right here, just so that uh, it, uh, you know, hopefully we'll stick it to the bottom by the time I'm done messing around. And then we'll put this into the pressure pot, which is right there. Uh, but on this one, I'm going to use the Pearl X like I did in GPs. I'm going to do it under purple. So I'm going to mix this up. We'll kind of buzz through that real quick. Get it into the pressure pot and then <clears throat> get it out, get it on a lathe, get it turned. I'm pretty sure some dummy forgot to turn the camera on. So I've already mixed it. Got, <laughs> there's 500 resin. There's 225 hardener in each one of these. I poured, just now poured a little bit in here so that I can put uh, this in there, which is the macro pearl. I wanted this kind of thick. I might've put a little too much in it. Floated too. Oh. I guess. I guess we're gonna do it again. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I, I got a little bit of 
air pockets in here to get rid of. You can see it floated. It floated quite a bit. Uh, but it, I was going to cut that off, but I kind of like that dragon scale looking stuff down there. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to try to cut this in a little bit more so I can come up to a lip and kind of just give this a, a V shape to it. So currently that's what I'm trying to do, but I'm really kind of liking that profile at the moment. <laughs> it's just a bowl, but I got I had to go sharpen things. I'm getting some tear out. I was having to lean out there pretty bad. I just turned to dust, which is probably still going to do because it's cedar. <sighs> I don't like that. That's kind of cool. Tear out. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this wobbling is. Actually, it's not too bad, is it? I may just stay with that. I got some other issues there, but uh, this isn't flat. Might be able to get rid of that a little bit. Roll her down in there. Except for that right there. It looks pretty good in that there. Okay, so I'm gonna put sanding sealer on here. I'm gonna trip over the tripod here, make you guys wiggle. So my lens, uh, I'm gonna keep putting it on until this quits like soaking it up. I, I don't really need it here, but it's gonna get on there, so I'm just gonna even it out. But I do need to seal this. You see, it's still kind of kind of wet here from the denatured alcohol, so I might give this a second. The other thing is, is I poured this. The same time as I poured the copper resin one here a couple weeks back. So there's a lot of clear in the top half of this when it lifted. Stupid heater. Uh, so the top half of this has clear in it because both of those, I poured them at the same time. I didn't necessarily pour this with JP's because I had to get JP shipped down to Texas in time for him to get it. And now that he's back home <laughs> i need to hurry up and get this turned so but anyways th this has clear up in the top oh uh, which i didn't i don't believe i did it that way in the bottom i can't i don't even remember <laughs> so uh, i didn't film the top half of this being poured because i was a little upset with the fact that the two of them let go of the bottom and floated like this uh, i think it was myrtle and the copper and gold I think it was but I did the top half of this the same way as you can see this is a little clear through here but right now I'm going to put myelin sand sealer on it because uh, the cedar the cedar is just going to soak it up Take me too long to do this. You don't keep 
looking instead of hiding like that. Oh, oh, oh. It's just taking too long. I think <laughs> that's pretty thin all the way down there. Push my luck anymore, I just gotta straighten it out. You need to go deeper though. And y'all can't even see. All right. I'm not quite sure how to go deeper yet. <laughs> it's pretty thin. It's pretty cool to see through it. I just need to get that out of there, get that sharp edge off of there. It's pretty close all the way down. Other than, you know, like the bottom's like that thick, but my mortise is pretty deep and I don't really want to join the funnel club. Alright, so I gotta get this chatter out, which I can't get, so I'm gonna have to sand it. And there's a there's a couple ridges right there, but I can't seem to get that out. I think I'm as far as I'm gonna go. It seems a little thick, but I'm through the bottom as you can see. I've only got so much room in my my mortise is pretty deep. So I'm gonna sand this up. I uh, will come back in after that and we'll uh, seal it and give it uh, the lacquer finish. Then I'll probably put some more on the outside. But I need to get this sharp edge off and that right there with a chip that I didn't see so I have some sanding to do I'll be back after that I know I didn't do it, but it sure looks like I joined the funnel club in this. All right, 100 RPMs, clear gloss, lacquer, crystalium, uh, Waco, crystal clear, whatever. It's supposed to be gloss. It's kind of semi-gloss if you ask me. <laughs> or satin. But
All right, so this is a fast set. I thinned it out with a little bit of acetone so that it soaks into, I made a maker coin to stick down in the bottom of this. It's pretty cool. Actually, this is the second one. I didn't like how the first one took, so I turned another one. But um, the idea is I think I'm gonna put some down in that hole there first, so we at least know there's some in it. And the idea was for it to soak it up and not float, I guess, you know? <laughs> so that was the plan, anywho. Let's just see what happens here. Alright, so I'm going to babysit this for a minute. Because i got all kinds of stuff I don't really care for at the moment in there. And then we'll, uh, ooh, I don't like that. Why is it doing that yet? But anywho, I just make sure I don't want to float. David Adamson, uh, Adamson Woodcraft, if you're over here, brother, thanks for the sticker. Uh, yours is on the way, by the way. <laughs> well, Monday, uh, Sunday right now. So, um, anyways, uh, yeah, JP Woodworks, everything's going to be in the description below for those two. Um, not sure what JP's project looks like yet. Well, I mean, I've seen pictures of it, but I haven't seen his video. So, <laughs> it is what it is. So, head over. Uh, I will put those links in the description and probably somewhere over there at some point in the video once I get that information from him uh, the link to that specific video and his channel you know um, let me get that thing okay so the shiny finish went away I'm not sure what's on it oh come on I got stuff on the side of it I had it all finished now there's two bubbles See it? One there and one there. I don't know what the. Oh! I didn't even notice it. I, I mean, I came out and I I did that in there. And I put the, the second coat on top of it. And it did kind of raise a little bit. It's still a little bit soft because I put a fingerprint in it. <laughs> but I poured that this morning. It shouldn't be soft, but it is. Um, it was a slow set. But there is my rendition of it. Rend rendition. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what, like I said, JP did. It's, um, I, I kind of have another idea for this shape. <laughs> just got to figure out what I want to do in here. Um, and just looking at it sitting over there with this poured in, it gave me that, uh, hey, you know what that looks like? Another project. <laughs> so, so anyways, uh, I'm going to cut this quick. So, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. Head over and... The links are down below. Check out JP. Check out Dave Adamson's. And um, yeah, we'll see you all next week. Put pictures up too. Eaters on. Oh yeah, hey, hey, oh, look, look at these shirts. <laughs> down, down below, there's shirts if anybody wants any. Yeah, I, I kind of, you know. Yeah.